Okay, <clears throat> so this video I just wanted to kind of show how these pieces go together. I was going to take one of these out just to show you. So um, here's our um, one of our axle gears. I've already loaded our new the new um, shims back on there. So step one, I've already got the bottom one. I don't need to show you that again. But you slide these in here. Get them up on top of that. Here's our two spider gears. One here. And they have a curved back on it like that. Um, and you can see inside our housing here, this is our shim. Another shim on the other side. So we'll take and load our spider gears in here like that so they mesh nicely. Whoops. And um, this is the part that takes a little bit of challenge. So we're going to load these up in here like this. And then we're going to put them, rotate them around. You want them roughly opposite from one side to the other. Uh, the other side looks about the same. So what we'll do is now we'll twist the whole assembly around and into place. And you have to hold, so now these work pretty well, but you kind of have to hold the shims in place as you go. There you go. So now they're in there. We're roughly lined up here. This will take a little bit of moving around with a, um, to get the washer in the right place. So that'll take a little bit of um, lining that up. And again, on this one, you can see how that washer's out of place. So we'll have to kind of push that around a little bit until it gets in to be in the right place. Uh, so that is how you replace your shims um, behind your differential gears on a... This particular housing is a... Um, this is a 1955 MG TF 1500 differential, but it's very similar to many other differentials uh, that I've seen in my own research on how you replace those parts.